Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of the special demo of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This is episode 8, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first, as we do in every episode, take a quick trek around Moss Deep City to see if there's any new faces. I already saw that scientist guy was there, which, even though he's not a brand new face, um, he's, um, he's been here on and off, um, trading places with that other the rich boy who likes to sleep in a bed made of Pokemon or something like that. Oh, here we go. Um, who are you, my fair lady? That's it. That was my last performance dressing up as a Hoenn Ranger. I'm planning to dedicate the rest of my life to contest spectaculars. Together with my beloved Pokemon. All right, well, I'll be sure to look out for you when I do those contests. I guess they renamed them to Contest Spectaculars. Because they're not your ordinary cast. Ooh, hi! I didn't. I haven't seen you guys. Like in my last playthrough of the, of the demo, I must have passed over these guys, or they just never showed up. Um, so that's Brawly, one of the gym leaders, and Roxanne, another one of the gym leaders. I believe um, Roxanne's definitely the first gym leader, and I think Brawly is the second gym leader. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's talk to them. Brawly, you are tough as a rock. Okay. Well, that wasn't anything. Hmm. It's harder than I thought it'd be to get my body fat percentage any lower. I need some way to keep on training my whole body. Yeah, maybe some squats, or... Oh, such a meathead, Brawly. Always thinking about squats and... Exercise and workout. Haha. <laughs> no, no, no. Fitness is very important, I know. I gotta give this guy more of a muscle-headed voice. He's like, um... Well, originally in Ruby and Sapphire, he was more of like a surfer dude. But from what I've seen of his redesign in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and also the way his gym's been redesigned, it seems like he's just, like, more into fitness in general. Okay, these diving people are back. I don't need to talk to them. Um, yeah, so he's, he's become, like, more into fitness in general. Like, his Pokemon gym is, like, an actual gym for fitness with, like, treadmills and stuff. So it's interesting. Like, I guess because, like, the surfer thing's been done and kind of was, like... Similar to, um, what's his name? Marlin from Black 2 and White 2. They wanted to differentiate him a little bit, which is fine. Um, so let's, let's get to that adventure. Alright, um, we gotta find another Pokemon. So this, this adventure today could take all of ten seconds again. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay, ooh, you're looking for a shroomish. You better talk to that scientist guy, because he wanted to see a shroomish. Um, oh, we got, a, we got some battles, though. Let me, let me put my beloved Sceptile up front. Because, again, I can't get enough of Mega Sceptile. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Well, good, I hope you're prepared to lose half of it when you lose to me, rich boy. Winston, what a rich boy name. And he's using a Linoon like many of the rich boys use in Ruby and Sapphire, if I remember correctly. I don't know why. Is a Linoon a symbol of status symbol? And I just lost. Hold on. I just lost. Um, my feed just cut out. So I need to cut away. I'm going to restart. Um, I'm going to restart my uh, capture software and start it up again. But I won't do anything, so you won't miss anything. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Again, didn't miss anything. I just had to... For, I'm not sure what happens. I think, like, it's if the, um... If the cable connecting, um... Connecting my capture card to the computer, if it, like, wiggles out a little bit, I lose... I lose the signal. But it, for some reason, I can't just, like, adjust the, the wire and start recording again. Like, I have to actually... Re, um, relaunch my capture software, which I don't know if that's the actual solution or if there's something else I need to do, but so far that's what's been working, so I'm going to stick with that if that ever happens. But again, didn't really miss anything, just kind of briefly cut out for a second. I didn't do anything, though. I picked up exactly where we left off, fighting this rich boy with his linoon, and I was doing this rich boy voice, which sounds like Remy bucks a plenty from the Fairly Odd Parents, for those of you who watched Nickelodeon in the early 2000s. 
Okay, I'm in, there's enough of this rich boy voice. We must find this shroomish, and I must see. I'll probably find it in, like, two seconds. Oh, no, we're gonna fight a wild Pokemon instead. Okay. I was expecting it to happen. I was expecting, you know, this to happen the way that it's been happening every other time I try to find a Pokemon. It's like I take two steps in the grass, and it's like, oh, problem solved. But no, today's gonna be a little more interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I realized I never did play, like, the victory music for battling a wild Pokemon, so now's the perfect opportunity to do that. Let's let it play. Here we go. Oh. It doesn't really play that long anyway, because even if you don't press anything, it takes you out of the menu, or out of the... I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, can I sneak all the way over the... Oh. Hi, Shroomish. Alright, well, again, that was easy. It's pretty much like you just walk into one of those clearings and then you walk back into the grass, and pretty much it seems like that makes the Pokemon you're looking for appear. Interesting. But yeah, when you finish a wild Pokemon battle, I guess that it, it just takes you out of the battle on its own. Like with the trainer battle, you can press A to go through their dialogue, or you can just wait there. But it doesn't let you wait there for wild Pokemon battles, I guess. So, sorry. I wanted to play more of that than actually played, but oh well. Oh well, so that was episode 8, so there should be just two more episodes left. Again, unless I find... If I, if I play through my other version, my other copy of this, and I find there's more, you know, then I'll revisit this. But as far as I, far as I know, there's just two more episodes of actual new content to explore. So that's cool. We are almost done with this demo. Eight times. There may be a new face in Moss Deep City. All right. I'm pretty sure there's more gifts for us to get, but anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my playthrough of the special demo of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire.